Hey, welcome back into today's video. It looks like Social Repose has responded. An MGK video I did has went viral, and there's a rumor about Poppy. All that and more as the Rip reports. Oh, it's so hot. We did a video three days ago talking about a very triggering thumbnail that Social Repose used in one of his videos. Now, I didn't know much about him, but I wanted to open up a discussion. It was then when Social Repose responded. I feel like you're going to make a video about someone. You should go a little further than a couple minutes in one video and a thumbnail. What you've done is literally read a book by its cover. I've been doing this for years and my content has been just as dark three years ago as it is now. That doesn't soften the face value of a thumbnail like the one displayed, but it gives it context. Folks can call me trash all they want, and they do, but that has never stopped me from pushing what I love. Most of my content is music covers and silly lighthearted stuff, but folks wouldn't know that because they're too busy complaining about past relationships. Anyways, I like your hair. You look like my friend, Hair Jordan. Now, this was really interesting, and I, I am really appreciative that he reached out and, you know, explained a little bit. Um, I, like I said, I don't know much about his content, how dark it is. Uh, I did look a little bit, and it does seem like he is open about his mental health. I read a lot of the comments that you guys have put in this video. If you haven't seen this video, go ahead and give it a watch and provide your comment among everyone else's because i'd really like to read it but i watched you guys form your own opinions on it and it's kind of like a uh there's a lot of people that are really battling these mental illnesses that are really triggered by what he does in his content but then there's another part and and some of members of the community that i really respect that really like his content and say that they relate to it it helps them and as a content creator on the internet i understand that you cannot make everyone happy though it would be a perfect world and i would love to have conversations with every single one of you guys it's just really hard to make everybody happy at the same time now i know that he says his content was just just as dark three years ago as it is now i guess signifying that he has not strayed far from the path on his content and this is not something that he's just now starting to do he i think he's saying that he's really open with his mental health and he he wants to get that out there that there's more to his content than what people are complaining about like relationships relationships are really difficult especially as a youtuber i know that i was in a couple of relationships previous to the current girlfriend that i have and they just don't understand the pressures of youtube and then i found somebody that was really supportive so maybe we should take another look at his content maybe we should see what else he has to offer outside of his uh relationship issues because the, these relationships with it comes to youtubers is very difficult I, I know and you guys have read seen some of my videos so let's uh let's see if we if we are not doing the same and judging a book by its cover because that's not what we do here we give everybody a fair chance let me know what you think in the comments below i did this video mgk didn't write rap devil himself evidence let's talk about it um, it was a video that I, I, another video that opened up just for discussion, as you can read, it says, I wanted to open up a discussion about MGK versus Eminem, who is winning or had one, and what will the outcome inevitably be? Now, it went, uh, what I call semi-viral, with 52,000 views currently and going. If you guys haven't checked that out, you should. It's really intense discussion, if you go and check it out. Lots of comments for me to review, 569, and these are some hardcore comments. And if you're looking for something to do, this is this is a good thing. It'll keep you busy for hours. But um, a lot of people just read the title and disliked because it's got uh, 201 dislikes, 657. That's more dislikes on probably more dislikes on any video that I've ever had, uh, but it does have a high amount of likes, probably about a 20% dislike ratio. Um, 
a lot of people, like I said, they just came in and they just disliked uh, thinking that I was dunking on MGK. But that's not what I was doing. If you can't tell that me and him look alike, I would never trash somebody that looked like me. But I do love him and him. So uh, the evidence that I was talking about was there was this there was this picture going around. Let me show you over on the Repzilla Twitter. It was uh, who really won between MGK and Eminem. I'm just gonna leave this here. And it was a it was a picture that was. Uh, a Machine Gun Kelly's Rap Devil on the left side, Kill Shot on the right side, Ronald Spence Jr. and Colson Baker and the songwriters over here, and then Marshall Mathers and Soros over here. This led people to believe that MGK did not write his Rap Devil song. But as we as we can see, and why I picked this uh, triggering photo is because people don't know that Colson Baker is in fact a uh, uh, MGK and Ronald Spence Jr. is Ronnie J. That's the producer, not only for Rap Devil, but also the producer for Kill Shot. That's right, the same producer for both disses. That's that's really seriously weird. And you know what that tells me? What if it was planned? Also, I'm doing a little contest, and uh, I was curious on your thoughts if you thought I would be 40,000 subscribers, 50,000 subscribers, or 60,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And those who pick right will be entered into a giveaway. I'm going to put that link in the description below, along with the MGK Eminem uh, controversial photo. Let me know what you think. Check this out. This is the website prettyuglylittleliar.net. And... At the top, you can see there's a, there's a, a Venus Angelic, a lot of different people who were actually exposed for what uh, Vincent Sears' girlfriend Dasha was doing. If you remember that, that video is here. Um, making fake accounts and white knighting themselves. So basically, if I was to make an account, go in there and and say Repzilla is the greatest ever, uh, but it was actually me. Well, these site owners have the ability to check the IP and figure out who is behind all these things. And it looks like some of the most famous people that th they have caught on the site for white knighting themselves, they put in the top of their header. And this is supposedly Poppy as the PS standing for Poppy Seed. And it was told that there's a whole controversy, which I, I, I don't know, I've not looked into it, but I, I thought it would be fun for you guys to go to this website, prettyuglylittleliar.net, and check it out. Find where Poppy was white knotting herself and exposed for that, because if this controversy was would have been out when the lawsuit was out, it, we could have had a, a much different turn of events and I'm thinking about doing a live stream later this week about the ending of the Mars Argo lawsuit. Let me know if you want that in the, the in the comments below. Uh, thank you. Let's proceed to the next story. We had the two Yandere Dev uh, videos where we were exposing some truths about him. Then we had the interview. If you've not seen the interview, I'll put the, the interview in the description below for you. Um, I haven't heard any more. If you guys know any more about the Yandev, uh, since the videos that we've talked about let me know also in the comments or you can tweet me at Zilla Reggie. you can even email me everything is in the description below but uh, one of the things I wanted to point out was when we did the interview for uh, the Yandere dev he still hasn't responded and he was just caught uh, copy and pasting and it really was just a big letdown for a bunch of people in the community um, I think maybe if we get some more eyes on this, then he may take it more serious. I really would like him to come to the forefront on this. But as interesting as this is, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I wanna know what you think. So why don't you just go ahead and leave your creative and duration responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for this like as always, brothers and sisters. I will see you in the next video. I got a I got a couple things I'm working on. If you haven't seen our little ghost back here, this is Harold, Harold the Ghost. Uh, you guys bought him in yesterday's live stream. If you ain't watched the live stream, you should go check it out in the live stream IRL playlist. But um, I'm working on some uh, special Halloween uh, merch and Christmas. Christmas will be released in November. We're trying to get the uh, Halloween uh, stuff out. Uh, right now, I'm still working on it, but look forward to that 
because I know that you're repping it if you're not repping your Gregan. And how do you become a member of the Rep Squad? All you can do is subscribe, don't forget to turn on, be in the comments after every single video because I'm going to be there. Greg the Cat is going to be there and the rest of the Rep Squad community as well. And I expect to see you there too because this channel loves you. Greg! You can't drink coffee.